Hi guys, welcome to another episode of What's in the Case. My name is Spike and today we're going to be having a look at this mystery Les Paul. Um, so let's open this up. So it's an Epiphone Les Paul custom uh, from the 90s, uh, the late 90s, I think 99. And uh, the serial number was an interesting one because it dated the guitar to uh, 99, I think, and uh, gave Fujigen, the Japanese plant, as the manufacturer. Um, and then on closer research, I found out that all of the Epiphones from Fujigen at that time all had uh, the open book headstock. And as you can see, this one has more of an Epiphone um, headstock as opposed to the, the classic Gibson open book one. So it got me thinking that this might be something different. And it turns out... Uh, this is actually a Korean Les Paul, um, which is might be disappointing because, you know, Japanese guitars are generally considered to be a bit better than Korean ones. That being said, this is, you know, really well-built instrument, um, very heavy, uh, sturdy structurally. Um, yeah, we've got a nice neck flute. Um, so I found the original listing for this guitar, so I put up um, some of the pictures that I found because I was researching and I, it was weird I actually came across the listing or the original Facebook listing for this guitar when it was sold a while ago by a, a guy who used to take Epiphones and do you know mods to them to make them uh, play better essentially um, so this one he doled off the finish um, gave it a setup and um, I'm not sure if he went into the wiring and did some stuff to the pots. Um, but yeah, um, this finish is really cool. It's like a, it's like between matte and gloss. I suppose it's more matte. Um, so yeah, other than that, it's a Les Paul. I'm not really the uh, biggest Les Paul fan. It's cool to have one around. I had a, a Les Paul a while ago, another Epiphone that was from China. It was actually quite good as well. Uh, not quite like this. This is yeah, this is really cool. They don't really make them like this anymore. Proper heavy. Um, I think um, the one thing that I maybe not such a fan of is the inlays. They have this, rather than being that nice pearl, they're kind of more of a matte grey. And they're also square as opposed to the kind of Les Paul shape that we're used to. Um, other than that, let's just have a look at the uh, back of the headstock a second. So... Yeah, we can see that that's been lent against the wall then somewhere, but that's the serial. Um, some good tuning machines. And yeah, the neck flute, so that's really... You don't see a lot of flutes on Epiphones, so it's an interesting feature. Um, yeah, and then a nice matte finish. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not the biggest Epiphone player, but I'll try and do this guitar a little justice um, with a bit of a demo or some sound clips. Um, yeah, I don't really treat these videos much like full demos. I'm more just going to find a sound that I like and play a bit um, as opposed to go through all the different selections on the pickups and stuff. So, yeah, I'll give you a bit of a, a needle on this and, uh, yeah, you can make your own judgment as to what you think. Um, so, yeah, I suppose that's it. Um, if you like the content that I'm making, yeah, please make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, drop a like on the video as well. I've got um, a couple more bits coming up to show you. Uh, another cool Epiphone on its way, as well as some Fender stuff as well. So uh, stick around if you're interested. Um, so yeah, uh, I've been Spike. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you next time.